Hi, thanks for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. Several weeks back, Tim Ortiz, November 9th, Sierra Alpha Bravo, reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in testing out one of his antennas. Tim has an eBay store where he sells a line of dive antennas. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, you may be familiar with the fact that I'm more of a fan of end-fed antennas. Now, since I've never actually done a video on a dipole, I was intrigued enough to ask Tim to send me one of his antennas, and that's what we'll look at today. The antenna we will look at today is November 9 Sierra Alpha Bravo's Ultralight QRP Stealth HF dipole. We've all heard of and have probably used inverted V antennas, but have you ever heard of or used a V antenna? That's exactly what we have here. Tim's inspiration for this model came from Dennis Blanchard, Kilo One Yankee Papa Papa. Dennis posted a YouTube video entitled Ham Radio Hiking Gear, wherein he describes the design of this antenna. In the video, Dennis explains the need for backpackers to get their pack weight down and only carry the essentials. Dennis figured he did not need to carry the weight of the coax cable if he brought the center of the dipole down to the rig's antenna connector. Please check out Dennis's video when you get a chance. You'll find it on my liked video list. The Stealth dipole comes in this extremely compact and convenient 6 inch by 3.5 inch waterproof carry pouch. It weighs in at just 141 grams. The antenna is a 33 foot half wave dipole cut for resonance in the middle of the 20 meter band. While I will be using the 20 meter version today, note that Tim makes versions of this antenna for all bands from 40 meters to 10 meters. Maximum power rating is 50 watts. Two hook and loop wraps are provided to allow for neat storage of the two radials. Also included is a BNC protective cap for the male BNC connector. The price is a very low 22 US dollars and shipping is free for customers in the United States. Let's take a close look at the construction of this product. The wire used is 20 AWG stranded UL1007 tinned copper antenna wire with ring connector eyelets at each end. The feed point connection is a binding post with a BNC female connector thoroughly insulated with waterproof marine grade heat shrink on both ends for maximum strain relief. All electrical connections are soldered using silver bearing rosin core solder. This antenna looks perfect for use with the Yesu FT817, so today I'm going to use it without a feed line by directly connecting it to the front panel BNC female connector of that rig. Given this, I'm going to need a location where I have two high points to run the far ends of the antenna radials to, with the FT817 situated roughly halfway between. I'll tie the far ends of the radials to some paracord for ease of installation. As a support system, I've brought along some military surplus poles. Of course, trees would work just fine as supports, but I wanted to set this antenna up in the open so you could better see what it looks like when deployed. I will have the far ends of the radials up about 16 feet. Certainly this is low for a dipole but the V configuration does not give me much option to get the far ends up higher with a 20 meter dipole. Okay, let's get this set up. So I've got my military poles. Um, they, they are four feet in length and they dovetail with one another. So the one just slides into the next. So I've got four poles on each side and on the top of each pole, I've got the far ends of the stealth dipole tied off. Um, I'm using uh, three paracord lengths to hold up each pole and uh, as you can see, and I'll just uh, zoom in on that in just a moment, uh, you, you'll be able to notice that the operating position is where the antenna hangs down. One consideration that I've been giving some thought to is the fact that, you know, when it comes to um, V's, inverted V's, it's always best to have the 
angle at no more than, uh, sorry, no less than 90 degrees. And this is going to be pretty close to 90 degrees, may even be a little bit less, um, but I'm kind of limited in terms of my operating position and the height above ground. So regardless, I'm going to give it a try. Here's another look at the operating position, a little closer in, and you can see that uh, the feed point is pretty low to the ground, which is good. I've got a little stool. I'm going to set the FT817 up. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, QRP. Uh, the Kilo Golf 5 Station, please come back, over. So my initial inclination was correct. It turns out that the antenna was too sharp an angle, so when I turned the FT817 on, the SWR was off the scale. So what I've done is I've now taken this end of the antenna, and I have now tied it off at the 12-foot uh, level rather than the 16-foot level, and moved the pole out a little bit. Uh, this does mean I'm going to have to uh, hold the transceiver while I'm making some contacts, but this is all learning experience, so I'm okay with that. Let's see what happens. down from 16 feet to 12 feet. I'm going to try it again to see if the SWR is better. Hey, uh, Parks on the Air uh, event uh, for this weekend, uh, but I was committed to this one, so I couldn't do anything. Appreciate your call. What are you calling for? We're, we're calling from uh, Stephen F. Austin State Park. We're, uh, we're right outside of Sealy, Texas. Uh, very good. Uh, weather's good over there. Very good. Uh, we appreciate your call. Tango 5, Tango X3. This is Whiskey 4 Sierra. Take care, my friend. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, QRP. Uh, this is Whiskey 4 Sierra. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, QRP. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, QRP. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. QSL? I, I note Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Uh, QSL? Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. QSL? QRP station, come again. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. QRP. Good job uh, from uh, Canada. And I'm using a real, um, a real low antenna here, so I appreciate you coming back to me. Thank you. Good luck with your station. Oh, DK, near Denver, calling CQ and listening. Victor Echo Three, Tango Whiskey Mike, QRP. Uh, okay. Good morning. Thanks for the call. VE Three TWM. Uh, K0DK, good signal for QRP. My name is Dick, and I'm in Colorado. Go ahead. Hey, Dick. Um, thanks very much for coming back to me. Uh, I'm in Ontario, Canada. The name here is Tracy Tango Romeo Alpha Charlie Yankee. I am using a very low dipole with a Yesu FT817 at 5 watts. I'm going to throw it right back to you, Dick. Uh, yeah, okay, fine, Tracy. Well, at the moment, you're about 5 by 3. You were a little bit stronger than that when you first called me, 5x3. 
Uh, we're going to be some QSB, I'm sure, on everybody this morning. I'm not running uh, low power, but I'm running 100 watts. And I do have the antenna pointed more or less in your direction. Um, pretty, pretty warm out here. How's it doing in Ontario today? Over? Kind of chilly. It was around the freezing mark uh, first thing this morning, but we are supposed to warm up to something around uh, 70 degrees later today, which will be okay. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. Supposed to get up to about 65 or 70 later today here as well. Um, yeah, I'm in Boulder, Colorado, uh, near Denver, the Rocky Mountains, and the band seems fairly active. Not a lot of strong signals on this morning. Um, what are you hearing with your with your low dipole? Over? I'm getting good signals. I'm getting some signals in from Europe, uh, but you're only the second contact I've been able to make so far. Uh, back to you, Dick. Yeah, okay, well, you're peaking S5 right now. You hearing me all right? I am indeed. It's You're banging in. You're, you're one of the loudest signals on the band. Yeah, okay, all right. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I've worked several of the OK stations uh, in uh, was some sort of contest going on. They were coming in here anywhere from S7 to 10 over, so we've got some propagation somewhere if you got a good antenna. Yes, uh, absolutely, and if it's up high. This is an interesting antenna that I'm testing out here. It's designed so that the apex of the dipole is at the transmitter, so you don't use coax. Uh, I didn't get all that. You're getting cut up a little bit by uh, QRM right now. Uh, what, what's the special nature of the antenna, over? Uh, the fact is it doesn't use coax. It's a dipole that the feed line is, is essentially right at the... Uh, at the antenna point on the transmitter. QSO? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I guess I can sort of imagine that. Uh, it probably amounts to a uh, twisted pair getting out to the antenna, doesn't it? it, it he's actually uh, got some uh, binding posts here that just go straight onto the BNC connector on the, AS, on the ASU FT817, QSO. Uh, yeah, okay. Clearly, I'm standing on the ground, and uh, the ends of the antennas are only up 12 feet. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. So it's got some loading coils in it? Nothing, no, no, this is just a straight dipole. So it's 33 feet overall length. Okay, so it's a dipole connected to the coax uh, connector uh, on the radio. Is that the idea? Exactly correct. Yeah, okay, well, that'll work. Uh, you're now S7, so... Uh, <laughs> That'll certainly work. Uh, that's uh, that's RF City, but uh, that'll work all right. Well, we do need somebody on the far end to be able to pull us out of the muck. That's for sure. Uh, well, I'm I got a big uh, antenna pointed at you. I've got three over three at a hundred feet pointed right at you. Over. That's outstanding. Well, I got to thank you very much. I really appreciate the contact. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're anywhere between the noise level and S7, so pretty interesting. Uh, pretty. Pretty high angle radiator for something near the ground. Anyway, uh, thanks uh, for uh, the call, Tracy. Nice talking to you. Over. Yeah, seventy three. It's it's been a real pleasure, Dick. I really appreciate the contact, uh, and I really apologize. I did not catch your call sign at the beginning. Uh, VE three TWM. Back to you. Yeah, it's K zero Delta kilowatt. Fantastic. K zero Delta kilowatt from Victor Echo three Tango Whiskey Mike seventy three. Thanks again, Dick. Well, as it turned out, I was able to make a couple of contacts with the stealth dipole. Band conditions today, um, I was hearing some Europeans coming in. They weren't terribly strong, uh, but they were coming in. Um, I also heard uh, some very loud stations from the southern U.S. I was getting Texas and Florida in quite well. Uh, and as you heard, I was able to make a contact with uh, a fellow in Florida and another one in Colorado. I would like to thank Dick for the nice little conversation I had with him. Um, this is a really interesting antenna, and, and it's been so long since I've operated with a dipole that it was a fun exercise for me. Uh, had a lot of fun with it. Um, you know, if you're interested in, uh, in picking up one of these for yourself, or if you'd like to take a look at what else Tim has on offer, check out his eBay store, uh, November 9th, Sierra Alpha Bravo, um, uh, HF Antennas, I think is the name of the store. You're going to see the link for the store in the, in the comments for this video just down below. 
Um, by all means, check it out. Uh, I've seen the quality of antennas that he makes, and I'm, I'm actually very impressed with, uh, with the solid construction. Uh, and, and he's not charging a lot of money for his antennas. It's, uh, it's a really interesting uh, little thing he's got going there. He did tell me that, you know, he, he's not doing this to make money. Uh, he's doing it for the love of it. Uh, th my thanks to Tim. Uh, November 9th, Sierra Alpha Bravo, for sending me the antenna to try. My thanks to all of you for watching this video. My extra special thanks to all who have subscribed to my channel and have given me a thumbs up.